practice these days. I mean, I don't ever get a chance to see you guys practice. You, 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 you basically you out there like one, one, one or two days a week. What, what's the deal? Um, well, uh, last year was tough. Yeah. Uh, to practice. I mean, uh, I would come in Mondays. I, would, I didn't do much. And then Tuesdays, I practiced a little bit. Uh, Wednesdays, they kind of not have me practice, and Thursdays, I practice. And so, I mean, just coming off the knee injury I had, it was, it was tough to, you know, get, get my knee, like, cooped in time for the next week. Yeah. Um, but it was just, you know, I was on crutches for like six months, so it was tough. Um, I really, I really ran before the cow game last year. I probably ran only about nine times, including practices. So yeah, it was tough. You know, you know, I had to do it just to you know, keep my knee healthy, but uh, it probably wasn't the best thing for me. Yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of like a, a lose lose. You want to take away from healthiness, or take take away from like. I was gonna say, I mean, it doesn't seem to have affected your statistics on the field last season. So, frankly, I mean, honestly, are you a guy that you'd rather do without practice in a lot of ways? I mean, clearly it's gonna help you in some ways, but I mean, are you a guy that doesn't necessarily need that? I think as you get older, um, when you play and you don't understand what's going on, you can prepare yourself for the games probably without practicing as much as some other guys. Yeah, especially as you, you know, you learn to take mental reps and um, you know, you learn tendencies. You can watch film to make up for a lot. Of it. You learn how to watch film, and that makes up for a lot. Of it. But young guys who need to be out there and get used to you know things. Uh, it's probably more important for them to practice. You know, quarterbacks seeing what the defense is going to give them. Or old lineman, probably. Uh, I think it's different for each position. Do you play kind of some things like these days? I mean, or do you just kind of ignore it? Or is, it uh, is that kind of understanding it? I think nowadays, I mean, I've been healthy for over a year now. Yeah. I still, you know, ice my knees all the time. But it kind of, it almost feels weird to be healthy. Like, it's 100% truth when you're hurt. You know, you're used to practicing in pain, and you, you learn to overcome it. But you know, I remember jogging out for when spring ball started. My knee was like healthy, like no pain. It was almost yeah, it's like almost ridiculous. But um, I think I'm still, I'm still, you know, getting better. I mean, obviously, when you have serious knee injury, you know, it takes you know a full year, maybe even more, you know, fully healthy. Being around campus over the summer, what's been and, uh, the sentiment among other students? What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no you were asking right. my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Being around campus over the summer, what have other students you know, said about the program, about the team this year? Or are they excited? I think people are just keep asking us if we're ready to go. I mean, uh, I know students love coming to the games and love you know cheering on the Terps. Uh, and I think they, they need something to cheer for, so I think they want a good, you know, performance, you know, from us. Talk about how you can be a defensive leader for Matt. Um, you know, just, you know, doing what you're supposed to, you know, both on and off the field. We've got a lot of young linebackers, so uh, I'm just trying to provide a good example for them, you know, throughout the... Uh, Throughout camp, you know, that can be a tough time. You know, you're away from home for the first time a lot of them. So, uh, you've been in those situations. You've been in every situation out there. So, um, you know, you're just trying to be there for them. What's the key for you guys this year? Uh, in the Atlantic Division? How can you make an impact? Um, I think we just got to, you know, improve on uh, every aspect. I mean, there's always room to get better, so offensively, you know, we're breaking a new quarterback. He's not new, but you know, being a full-time starter. We've got guys like Tory, who played in big games, and, you know, they've proven to make plays, so I think it's a big thing offensively get them the ball and let them make plays. And defensively, it's, you know, get off the field as quick as possible. Patrick here told me that your brother committed to BC earlier this summer, is that right? Yeah. Did he have an offer from Maryland? And if, if so, did you haze him for not picking Maryland? Or? Uh, no, not really. I mean, um, it was my brother's decision. I mean, he turned out Maryland where I went. He turned out Notre Dame where my dad went. So, 
He loved Boston College. Um, he loved Coach uh, Spaz. Um, you know, he, he was kind of sick of the whole process, and so he just went with his, you know, gut, and you know, he's, he's been happy ever since. So, I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, bust the balls or not. Yeah, right. But there's gonna be some trash talk in the week to right. play BC. Right? Oh yeah, I mean, he, he better be rooting for me, but <laughs> that's the last time he can, I guess, root against Boston College. I mean, I guess a little bit. I mean, obviously there's going to be continuous questions, you know, throughout the preseason. Uh, but, you know, our coach reason, he, he tells us all the time not to worry about it. I don't know how close to the first time. Is there any sense any difference in this preseason? Does that matter to you guys at all? I think he's just ready to get back out there. I don't think he likes having two and ten, you know, cases. He's a competitor, so I think he wants to get back out there. Yeah, that's a big thing. I mean, whether it be in like school work or working out or anything, so he finished. Obviously, last season, so we, there wasn't too many games that were actually finished. So. Uh, I think it's, you know, a lot of our, our games last year, we looked like, it was probably like three games where we just lost, and other teams were better than us. But, you know, other games throughout, you know, we were in those games. So, if we learn how to finish out here, we could know, turn around. Do you see Mark's a lot of later down when he's progressing around the team? Do you ever find yourself comparing him to the other team? Trying to stand out by yourself? Uh, no, not really. Um, I'm just coming in here. Um, still working for what I keep trying to do every year. Just go out and let the team win. Um, obviously, there's good linebackers everywhere. So, um, I think a lot of it comes with you know, team success. Um, or whatever come to any of us it'll probably be more of a team system than uh, individuals. Pretty much attack the machine. Um, how do you know just going to be in the really You know, just, you know, I've been playing linebacker since I was in third or fourth grade, so um, a lot of it is, you know, those things. So a lot of it is, you know, game play, finding what teams want to do, what teams like to run the ball where, all stuff like that. But a lot of it is just king. And, you know, as you get older, you know, things start to slow down for you. Um, so that helps. And then plus, uh, the D line in front of me. You know, they're always you know, taking out double teams or whatever, you know, falling down for me, whatever, so that really helps. It wasn't for those guys, you know. Probably would be you know, some tackles. Let's talk about that line a little bit, just because a bunch of start, you know, three starters gone from that group, but three guys, that, those three guys hadn't exactly played a whole ton before that either. I mean, what do you make of this group? Is it, is it going to be better than what you guys were last year? Yeah, I mean, like I said before, you know, we got new guys, but they're all guys that played. I mean, you know, AJ comes back, he started every game last year. Um, look at Milano, you know, he broke his foot, came back, played in like the last seven games. Justin Anderson, a true freshman, you know, he played in like eight or nine games. I think Drummond played a lot. And then um, Zach Kerr was a true freshman last year, he played a lot. And then. The only other guy in there really drew Gloss. You know, he played a little bit last year. Um, but we're moving him defensive end. And, uh, I think he's doing really well. He did well in spring. And uh, I think he can help us. How's Isaiah Ross doing at this point? Let's know. Yeah, he, um, you know, he tore his ACL NC State game. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's been working his, his ass off. He's, uh, he's going to be a really good player. I mean, I expect, I, in my opinion, I think he'll end up starting the first game of the season. Yeah, he's, he's a good football player. Um, you know, you know he's not like some crazy freak athlete, but you know he's a football player. Um, he's been working hard recovering, and we saw that a little bit last year where he just kind of was able to find ways to get into. Yeah, he's, into I mean, he's supposed to come in here and play linebacker, but you know he's a big guy, so they moved him down there and he did well. So, um, just, you know, like I said, he's a good football player. He's, he's still recovering. Uh, Cam will be big for him to get back into it once he gets over that initial, you know, you know, having knee injury, you come back and kind of like, kind of hesitate for a little bit. Once he gets that, and you know.